it is palpable with a fingertip at the fourth or fifth interspace in about 50% of adults and often cannot be felt in patients who are overweight or who have thick muscular chest walls or women with large breasts. Do not exert increased pressure in an attempt to feel the PMI. Use only gentle pressure. Using the padded surface of your fingers and palm, palpate gently over the cardiac apex, left sternal border, and base for pulsations. Normally, there are none present. Any found should be timed and documented as to location. There are six peripheral pulses that are routinely assessed, the carotid, brachial, and bilateral radial pulses of the upper extremities, and the popliteal, dorsalis pedis, and posterior tibial pulses of the lower extremities. I'm going to look and I'm going to feel for pulses, okay? okay. We're going to see, number one, are they there? Right. Number two, are they strong? Okay, and number three, especially when we get to extremities, are your extremities pink and are they warm? Now, assess the peripheral pulses of the upper extremities. When assessing the pulses, note rate, rhythm, and force. Also note if the vessel feels elastic or rigid and hard. The force of peripheral pulses is graded by number. Three plus indicates a pulse that is increased, full, and bounding. Two plus indicates normal force, one plus means the pulse is weak or thready, and zero indicates the pulse is absent. Begin with the carotid pulses. Now palpate the brachial pulses for equal force. Finally, palpate the radial pulse. Okay, we're going to check for a radial pulse. Now move to the lower extremities. The popliteal pulse can be more difficult to locate. It is better felt if the leg is relaxed and even slightly bent at the knee. Palpate with the fingertips of both hands into the popliteal fossa. This pulse is often found just lateral to the medial tendon of the knee. The posterior tibial pulse should be palpable in the groove just behind the medial malleolus. Passive dorsiflexion of the foot may make it easier to locate. The dorsalis pedis pulse is easily occluded and requires a light touch to palpate. It is usually palpable lateral and parallel to the extensor tendon. If lower leg circulation is a concern for the patient, it is helpful to circle the site where the posterior tibial and the dorsalis pedis pulses are located so they can be more easily identified during subsequent exams. Faint pulses can often be found by using a Doppler to make the pulse audible. If edema is present, check for pitting by applying fingertip pressure along the interior surface of the affected leg. Like pulses, edema can be graded using a numerical scale. One plus indicates mild pitting with no visible swelling of the leg. Two plus indicates moderate pitting with indentations that quickly disappear. Three plus is used for edema with deep pitting that resolves over a short time and a visibly swollen leg. Four plus indicates very deep pitting that persists and a grossly swollen leg.